Hello there, it's Courtney and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, Carabao Cup is back and we're taking on Leicester who are now in the championship after being relegated last season. So, thought we'd got rid of them. They're back out on the field tonight for the Carabao Cup. Um, but yeah, it should be an interesting game. Obviously, with them only going down to the championship last season, they still know how we play, know our players really interesting game but we also know this so it is it's still they still feel a bit like a premier league side because it's been very recent but it's gonna be interesting to see a um, bit positive team news this week trent alexander arnold seen back in training this week so fingers crossed we might see something from him tonight um not 100% sure if he starts but i do think he gets minutes in before tottenham this weekend if the plan is to bring him back in a squad then if he is fully fit. Um, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of my team news prediction today since one, I'm running early and two, it's going to be a bit of a weird one. Like we said, Carabao Cup, Peplin does usually sort of take charge more than Klopp and we sort of see more of the kids and the squad players sort of mixed in together. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I think goal is going to be Keller here. Um, like always with these competitions, Ali tends to get a break and we see Keller here come in. But he's a really good keeper, Keller here, especially for a backup. Um, I think easily he could fit into most Premier League sides as their first team keeper. But that save he made against the last league of the game, amazing. Um, now, I'd like to see Trent. But we did see it against last that Stefan Bajatic came back from injury but was put in a Trent's position and personally if Trent's fit I'd put Trent in. Um, but I would like to see Stefan Bajatic somewhere on the pitch because he's just so promising. And then I think for our mid term at centre backs, Knarte is back, get Knarte in and Kwanzaa. What a brilliant kid. He looks so promising. Stepped up massively when Virgil was out on suspension and we were struggling with a bit of an injury in that role. But he looks really good, Ponza, so hopefully he gets a bit of game time today. And obviously, we have Simicus. What else can I say? Simicus, he's just signed a new contract, actually. So, I do think Robbo sits this one out when we put Simicus in. It is a big game at the weekend as well. Like I said, Tottenham away. It's going to be difficult. So I am glad we are getting to rest these players. Hopefully it pays off then when we still get that win. And then midfield, there's only two players I can think of really that slot in a midfield today. Um, get a bit of a taste of them a bit more. Endo, I think comes out gets a lot more game time than he's had and ryan gravenberch be really interested to watch him starting a game um i just think we've not really seen much of them two players since we signed them it's going to be really interesting seeing them play a decent amount of game time against you could argue similar to the premier league um teams in the lower half of the league so that's going to be interesting. I think a good run out for them. And then up front, I think we have Jota and Gakpo. I think them two, they've sat a few games out recently starting wise. I think they get on the pitch today. And probably play close to the full 90 in all honesty. Um, and then someone who I think every Liverpool fan at the minute is really happy to see his progress and happy to see him come on the pitch. Ben Derrick. The kid is brilliant. He's got some speed on him. He's got some attacking skills really happy from hopefully he gets the star today but yeah um can't wait to see team news when it comes out wonder what i've got right what i've got wrong if there's any surprises in there um but yeah it's going to be an interesting one i'm going to head down see the coach come in go to hotel anfield i haven't been in there for a while so go and get a year ross go and check out the ragamuffins go and have some good times good drinks in there um and then i'll be going in i'll be sitting in the lower main stand today so i'm in l7 um or is it l7 or l6 i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm like right on the line like where it's like it could be one block or the other so um but yeah i'm looking forward to it i think it should be a good few um hopefully it's a good game um this could go to penalties so it could be a bit of a late night it is a quarter to eight kickoff so we'll see how that goes but yeah that being said i'm gonna head down to anfield now bring you along with me
15 minutes, depending on where the game's going. It would be interesting to see if we see any of them callous to us, obviously. Like, um, and I'd say maybe Virgil at some point, but we'll have to see. It all depends how the game goes, but yeah, I'm in the lower main now, so I'm going to get in my seat in a minute. I'm actually going to see if I can go and see the players warm up for a bit before I go and get in my seat.
Scarf, you got Salah. Yeah. Brilliant. Another three one win after going down by a goal. Can't really take this much more to be honest, but um first half wasn't a great performance until maybe the last ten minutes, ten, fifteen minutes or so. I thought we started to look a bit more put together, having a bit more chances and um, a bit more creating attacks. Um but then second half we come out completely better um, performance until again the last 10 minutes um, the, it changed and I thought Leicester seemed to be a bit more of the attacking side, I still think we were playing the better football at that point but it seemed like in the last 10 minutes Leicester sort of had a few chances that made me a bit nervous but the goals um, a lovely turn and shot by Cody Gakpo to get us back on one all then we had an absolute screamer from um, Dominic Sobersly. What a goal. That goal just blew my mind again. Um, Sobersly with these long range shots is brilliant. Very much reminds me of the days of Gerard and Alonso, that sort of style. Um, and he is number eight, which is very fitting um, for that. And then a lovely, lovely assist from Kwanzaa, just passing it over to Diogo Jota, who then just back heels it in at the back of the net. Brilliant. So, um, started off very nervous after that um, first goal, and then going 
into half time a goal down um but we done well we came back in the second half yet again to score three goals um but yeah man of the match me cody gakpo i thought had a really really good game um, and that goal just sealed it for him obviously sob slide then coming on sob slide was just brilliant and obviously at the end i got to meet home who got Sobber Sly's shirt and hear that someone had actually given it to him because Sobber Sly had promised him that shirt um, before the game. Um, so that is really cool. I will say though, um, Owen let me hold the shirt afterwards and get a quick picture of it. It was dripping in sweat. I know it was raining as well, but I'm pretty sure it was sweat and everyone has that like feel and smell. Um, but I will say, Sobber Sly, you don't smell that bad if that shirt's to go by, so congrats on that. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed my spec tonight as well. Um, it is a little bit quiet in the lower main stand. The cop was really loud today, though, to be honest. Um, but I don't let that stop me. I still sing along and that. Um, but it was really cool to sort of see the bench and see how that worked. Um, I just find that interesting sometimes to see how the deciding subs, when players are getting called back from warming up, or getting told to warm up. Um, and sort of the tokens between Jürgen and Pep and the coach and stuff. So that was really cool to see. Um, and then obviously Jürgen's interactions with the players I always think really cool to say but yeah I enjoyed today um, and then to get even better you come out of the ground to find Newcastle have beat City 1-0 so City are now out of the Carabao Cup already so that is interesting I need to sort of watch the highlights back of that because it would be interesting to see how that game went for City um, like Newcastle are a decent side at the minute in all honesty they think they've been unlucky with a few results um, including against us like I just think they, they lost their heads for 10 minutes and we ended up coming back in that game but yeah my little brother was who lives up by Newcastle was there with my stepdad my stepdad being a massive Newcastle fan so made up that he got to see that game but yeah just the fact we won tonight made me so happy I was going into this game thinking penalties penalties and I'm so glad we didn't because um, we got that last season in the Carabao Cup the first game at Anfield against Derby County we had penalties and I don't enjoy that late night after work um, but yeah that being said I'll see you all next game, which I'm not too sure when that is. It could be one of the aways. It could be we've got a game on Thursday. Could be then. Um, but yeah, you'll see me next week at some point. Till then, bye.